Uh, my name is Alejandro Gomez and I'm the Senior Financial Aid Outreach Specialist for Delta College. I've been leading the outreach team which comprises nine financial aid staff members for about two and a half years now. But I also work in processing student applications, um, verification, and other duties as well. Uh, it's, it's very rewarding when I see, actually see them get awarded their financial aid. Um, and um, anytime a student submits a FAFSA application and we've helped hundreds of students submit their classes this year alone. It's super rewarding to know that you're literally helping a student overcome obstacles and helping them to pay for their education uh, and hopefully through that change the dynamics of their family, especially if they're you know, first generation college students, first in their family to graduate from college. You, you literally know you're making an impact in their lives and if they complete their degree or their education or get their certificate, you know, you're literally helping them um, change that dynamic of their family for generations to come. So my job is really, really rewarding and, and that's why I love it. Um, the FAFSA application will be changing dramatically. Um, so the FAFSA is not going to open up October 1st this year. It's not going to open up until December. Um, so students will have to wait an additional couple of months to complete their FAFSA application. Um, and what's important about the FAFSA application opening late is also that it will be changing. So there's going to be a lot less questions on the FAFSA application. Uh, so FAFSA and the California DREAM Act, um, we will use those applications and, and just want to say that the FAFSA application is for U.S. citizens or eligible non-citizens, but undocumented students can also qualify for financial aid through the California DREAM Act application. Now we use each of those applications to see if a student is eligible for multiple grants, uh, which usually come in the form of money, which helps pay for books, supplies, tuition, and things like that, but also some campus programs require you to submit a financial aid application to see if you're eligible for that program. So one example is the EOPS program, uh, which can help students with priority counseling appointments, priority registration, uh, on top of other resources that they provide uh, in the form of book vouchers, gas cards, and things like that. So um, the FAFSA application, you know, even though you typically use it to see if you're eligible for financial aid, uh, it can be used to see if you're eligible for campus programs as well, like EOPS. Uh, we also do have um, the Federal Work Study Program, uh, which technically, you know, it's a job on campus, um, which students can qualify for if they submit the FAFSA application and they meet other eligibility requirements. But that Federal Work Study is a part-time job on campus, but at the same time, it's also providing you with experience as well.